All right. What's up, everybody? Come on in. We're getting ready to get this started. We have a great show tonight. I cannot wait. We have three ladies from Atlanta on two different shows. We have, hey, how y'all doing? We have Candy Burst, Dr. Jackie, and Miss Quad. Can't wait today to get in here because we're going to shake some things up. Y'all already know I'm going to do what I do when I do it. <laughs> Let's see if they're on here. Oh, there's Dr. Jackie. Y'all, y'all don't understand how excited I am to do this today. I am so excited. Hey, Dr. J. Hey. How you doing? Amazing. Good. Let's see if the other ladies are on here. Not yet. Well, it's good to talk to you one-on-one -on -one right now until the other ladies tap in. Mm -hmm. You know, I saw you at Quad's birthday party, so, you know, we didn't get a chance to really talk because it was... A long table, and you were all the way down at on the, the other end. end. Yeah, so yeah. I was, but I was happy to see you because I always see you on TV. I've ran into Quad multiple times, and then Candy as well. But when they told you that, you, when they told me that you were going to be on here, I said, "Oh shoot!" <laughs> and when they told me I was talking to you, I got nervous. I'm like, "Oh shoot!" No, we gonna have fun tonight. I promise you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Dr. Jackie, you like. A mother, so I'm like kind of, I'm a little nervous. I'm like, I don't know. Now, wait a minute. You took me from being an auntie to a mother? Well, I mean, you know, but you were, you were fine, mother. Oh. <laughs> right, you know, give me auntie status. Okay, you can be auntie. I'll give you auntie. Oh, let's okay. see. Let's see if they are here. All right. Nope, not yet. They didn't get the memo. You know, I'm about, you know, being early is being on time. I knew you would be early. When they said Dr. J, I knew you were going to be the first one on here. You probably was on here at 6.55. That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, see. I, I text, I said, I can't get in. <laughs> <laughs> see, you know, you're a doctor, so you want to make sure you're there when your patients get there on time. Absolutely. Everybody else is in entertainment. We think we can just pull up when we get there. <laughs> yeah, that's what y'all do. You know, I mean, but I was on time. Exactly. They said candy always late. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there's Candy. Uh-oh, she be quiet? She be quiet. Let me see if quiet in here. No quiet ain't in here. She's still patting her face. <laughs> <laughs> they still getting her flyaways. Come on, Candy. <laughs> oh, let's accept it again. Oh. It will not accept Candy. Look like it's me and you, baby. Oh, man. Invite Candy to join. It is not. Look, she going off on me. Accept my request. I did, Candy. I did. You, she was I, late. It's is not. It's not accepting her. After seven o two, we don't let anybody in the room. <laughs> she left. Okay, is she coming in now? Let's see. They said, don't do candy, okay? I ain't gonna do her too much, cause you know, candy from Atlanta, she'll pull up. <laughs> candy, I am accepting you. Hold on, Dr. Jackie. Now, Dr. Jackie, this is a little ghetto. I'm gonna click out and I'm gonna come back I right back. Oh, Y'all tried me. I was just, I'm here watching you, you me on my talk time. about me. You tried me on my time, I knew it. You do this to me every time. <laughs> It's 7.04. I was here, okay? I've been here since 7.01. Okay. Oh, well, we were just since 6.55. Right. Well, nobody said you had to be here so, at 6.55. Nobody told me. <laughs> to be on time is to be early. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Dr. Where is Jackie. quiet, y'all? Huh? Where is quiet? She's getting that last curl. Somebody in. on here said quiet is always late. They will not talk about quiet like that. <laughs> Candy, where are you? At home or in the office? No, I'm in a hotel in New York. Oh, yeah, always working. We're going <laughs> to talk about that, too, because I got <laughs> things to bring up mm. from the last time we talked. <laughs> oh, goodness. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what I do now. 
No, you didn't do nothing. It's just, you know, I'm going to remind you of, of something. We'll talk about it. Okay. Nothing bad. Well, we should bad. go ahead and talk. I mean, I guess whenever Quad when comes. Quiet, okay, wait. We got 18 people in here. Let's see if Quad on here yet. Is she here? No, not yet. Well, child, we got to start the conversation. Okay, let's go ahead and start. All right, y'all. We're going to go ahead and get started with our Quad. If she tap in, we'll bring her on in. But I am Kendall Kendall, a.k.a. Best Friend. I'm a television host and actor with my girl Candy. We got a show out right now called Alicar. I'm a social media influencer, and um, if you follow me on social media, you will know that I am a couch producer. <laughs> <laughs> I do my commentary on the reality shows, and tonight it's the Atlanta Takeover right here with my two beautiful ladies. We got Miss Only Known and Atlanta Candy, because we don't know that. <laughs> why. <laughs> Bitch, I'm worldwide. What you talking about? Bitch, I'm worldwide. I said, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> but it's the truth. And, uh, and got... you can get the merch. Just hit the bio on my IG page. You can get your bitch, bitch I'm worldwide t-shirt, coffee One... mugs, water bottles, whatever you need, you know. <laughs> One thing about Candy, she gonna monetize. That's what we gonna talk about, too. Oh, Quiet is here. All the time. Quiet is here. She okay. should be a consultant. Hmm. Okay, I accept the quad. You said I should be a consultant. Yes, girl. You have somebody. You are like the Olivia Pope of problems. Quad is here. Said a problem. And is and is what's and up, is. baby? What's up, baby? Miss Quad, Miss Quad. She, she got, got it. it. She got it. They never lost it. They lied. Yes. Oh, Quad. Worldwide, baby. <laughs> baby. Candy. <laughs> Finally, the remote control and turn the TV off so I can talk to my good people. <laughs> Baby, worldwide. <are> <laughs> worldwide. Worldwide. Now you. <sighs> now listen. So now that Miss Quad is in the room. Wait a minute. Let me talk to. Can I say hi to my sister, Dr. Jackie? Hey, oh, yeah. we all do that now. Yeah. Hey, girl. Hi, baby. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm just minding my business and drinking your water. Huh. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Water. That's what I got for the people. Water. That's what I got for the, Jackie. That's what you have for the people yeah. down to the Vegas, baby. We we want more than water, honey. We drink water on the daily. We don't understand being oh, hydrated. Well, I the way you set up, baby, we don't be wanting. I got water, water too, Dr. Jackie. There you go. Candid, candid, candid. candid for those who don't know who's worldwide, Candid does not drink worldwide. It doesn't matter what continent she's on. She will not drink that. <laughs> she's not drink water. Okay. All right. Okay, listen, we have got a lot of people in the room now, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start over. I am Kendall Kendall, a.k.a. Best Friend, a.k.a. I'm a television host. I'm an actor. I'm a social media influencer. And like I said earlier, I'm a couch producer, so you can find me producing your favorite shows on my couch or in my bed every Sunday or Monday, okay? Now, this is the Atlanta Takeover, and I got three beautiful ladies here with me. I'm going to start... Uh, right here to my right, y'all left, Dr. Jackie, the 3D. She's a doctor. She don't. And what's the third D? Um, she a doctor. She don't drink. Oh, and she don't do drama. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Jackie. So, so we think we gonna keep watching. You know, <laughs> Dr. Dr. Jackie thinks she's slick. Dr. Jackie, I I see you. We see. Look, we see each other. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> Now, next up, she is only known in Atlanta. She don't drink, but she makes all the money in Atlanta. She own everything in Atlanta. She is. She's the mayor of Atlanta. Her name is Miss Candy Burris. What's up, Candy? Hey, I told y'all, bitch, I'm worldwide. Drop, them, drop the globes in the comments. Everybody get your globes up, because we all worldwide tonight. Tonight, OK? And last but not least. This my girl right here, y'all. She crazy. She don't take no shit. Ever. She, uh, she down to drink that brown, okay? She ain't got it tonight. No, I'm a little, I'm a little Paseco. Just keeping it cute. Fashions, her fashions be fashioning. Miss Quad, Miss Quad. She always got it, and she gonna always have it. What's up, Indeed. Quad? <laughs> Everything and all things. How you doing, baby? How you doing? Y'all ready for tonight? Because both of y'all got shows. Well, uh, three of y'all got shows coming on. We got Married to Medicine coming on tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern. And first up, we got <laughs> Candy Show, Real Housewives of Atlanta. You ready? <laughs> no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You just gave Oh, Candy. You know the 
girls gonna be mad. Oh, the girls gonna be right. mad. It's fine because I mean, Candy is Candy. Ain't you right. hate it with Candy show? What? Candy. I mean, I'm the only one out here representing from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Clean it up, how far I'm going to be shady? I, huh? <laughs> no, you said what? no. Listen, clean it up, Candy. Candy says she's the one that's I didn't say that. I said I'm it. I'm saying I said I'm it. representing for my girls on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. That's what we doing right there now. There we go. Clean it up for me, Candy. But I mean, you are the HBIC, ain't you? You the the baby broom, broom, dustpan, fabuloso, pine saw, honey, potpourri. <laughs> Girl, clean it up, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Clean, Lifestyle, all of it, Michael Band, get it all, baby. <laughs> okay, Candy, okay. so next week, we're going to go ahead and get into it. Next week, it marks the 300th episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. How does oh, it really? Yeah, see, you ain't even know that. Didn't know that. I ain't either. I just found out. It's okay, but we all know now. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel to be a part of The Real Housewives of Atlanta? And like I said, you are one of the OGs. Like, you... You've been on there since short hair candy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't really consider myself an OG because I wasn't on season one. Okay. But I am the longest running housewife on there. Here 13 you seasons oh. straight, representing Real Housewives of Atlanta all day. I mean, it can be really crazy. You understand that. And it's stressful, for real, for real. <laughs> because, like, going back and forth with people all the time and constantly dealing with drama is, is stressful. But... You know, I'm I'm glad to still be here. So, have you ever had a moment where you feel like, yeah, I ain't going back next season? Of course, I think everybody's had that <laughs> moment. I think we've all had that moment where we, you know, be feeling like, you know what, it, it ain't really worth it. And then, you know, we just be like, yeah, nah, I come back. Yeah. <laughs> Now, um, Dr. Jackie and Miss Quad, you both of you ladies have, I think, your 150th episode coming up. Get into it. Get into it. Wow. it. Ooh, it. Like, woo, y'all been around. Ooh. Listen, I've been on both shows since they hit TV. I have to know from both of you ladies, how does it feel to get ready to celebrate the 150th episode? What are we doing? I'm down in Atlanta. Who, how I mean, it's, it's euphoric to me. I, I'm just <clears throat> like, overjoyed that we are still kicking it, making a difference in lives. I mean, you made me a mother. I graduated from an auntie to a mother. You me a mother tonight, y'all. Not auntie, mother. <laughs> okay, so, I'll take it back. <laughs> so I'm, I'm super excited, but like Candy said, it's very stressful, and I don't know if if our sister shows don't realize it, but we come sometimes from the operating room to the show, mm -hmm. and from work, and so it's double stress in that we just leave work on time everybody's healthy and happy and whole and go right into the show yeah Qua. well i think it's 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 really amazing that we have been able to sustain ourselves listen even on the network we've been through a number of days a number of times and what i have to say i gotta take my hats off in fact i ain't got no hat on honey i gotta take my wig off to the good fans, because no matter what, wherever day that they switch us to, whatever time that they switch us to, the fans are whole, the fans are solid. We really do uh, really appreciate that uh, support. But uh, listen, we are not a huge franchise. Let's just keep it real. You know, we are a standalone show. And it says a lot about our show that we're still here almost 10 years later. So yes. uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just really proud of, our, of the cast, the production team. Uh, and in and, and Bravo as a whole to see that there's value here within Married to Medicine. Yeah. Yes, I want to go back to, you said, the fans. So the fans, this is for all three of you ladies. So the fans, you know, the show has this drama, but one thing the fans notice is that it's sisterhood on <clears throat> both shows. Can each of you take a turn and talk about what it's like supporting each other as sisters on the show? I'll go last. I'll start and I'll say the sisterhood that we have is is much deeper than people know. Because if something's happening with Candy or something's happening with Kenya, any of the girls on the other show, or even definitely with Married to Medicine, we pick up the phone. It's not just a TV show for us. We kind of created almost a family. And mm -hmm. I mean, I, Candy knows I'm the, the godmother of her kids. <laughs> okay. So 
it's more than just a show for us is certainly a sisterhood and we are always concerned and always there for each other and we root for real housewives of atlanta as much as we root for ourselves because it's a sisterhood mm -hmm. yeah. i agree with um dr jackie on that i mean we definitely develop friendships across shows you know um uh, one thing i ain't supposed to tell y'all stuff in reunion but one thing they asked us like if we had to go to any other franchise where would it be and i said married to medicine for me because those are my sister atl girls and yeah. i'm an ATA, atl girl oh, all baby. day you know oh. what i mean so um i definitely feel like there's a sisterhood there now you know there are some of us who would like to go to wwf <laughs> sometimes you want to jump off the ropes on each other and that's no lie you know but at the end of the day i mean this is a journey that you know we've taken together that like nobody can even imagine doing you know what i'm saying some of the stuff that we've done together is just like wow you will remember it for the rest of your life yeah and you're talking about wwe you just keep watching married to medicine uh, yeah, I was hearing about it. You told y'all did it again. <laughs> y'all did it again and, and again, baby. But I will echo the same sentiments. I I, I got to tell you that um, a lot of our relationships are organic. This is not about television. It's just we happen to be on television. Candy and I used to live like literally right around the corner from one another. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and and just hanging out together, bonding. Uh, spending time with families, it's, it's, it's just, it's just a good, it's a good feeling, you know, for mm -hmm. someone to truly understand, because reality TV is tough. It, oh. it, you know, we know we give you the glitz and the glam, honey, and all of the one lines and the him and the hard. But baby, it is tough boots down to the floor. Sometimes it can be emotionally tax taxing and mentally draining. And to be able to just pick up the phone and call someone and say, you know, what you think about this? And they truly do understand. They're looking at it from not the standpoint of the fan, but from being in it. And so I, I really uh, rejoice in the in the camaraderie there. I really do. I give it up to y'all because you know I've been approached a couple times about reality, and I'm like, no, I just want to talk about it. <laughs> Ooh, and baby, you be, and baby, let me tell you something. You wear the girl thin on this Instagram, honey, baby. Yes. <laughs> yes. So is it safe to say that when y'all have those uh, moments where y'all arguing and have these big fights? on television, y'all do leave when the cameras go down, mics are off, and y'all do actually call and fix it, or do you wait until you come back on TV to fix it? Ooh, that Ooh. was a good question. <laughs> Production would like for us to wait. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, but just depending on where you are in the relationship, you may pick up the phone. Like, Heavenly says some very disparaging things about me some time ago that I still will deal with at the reunion. <laughs> but I did pick up the phone and call her because she is my friend. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I, I think the friendship is worth it. So, you know, I picked up the phone and I called her, you know, but sometimes it's, it's not always like that. Sometimes it's like, oh, that's where we are. Let me match your energy. <laughs> what about you, Candy? Because I know you are one of the most neutral people on the show. So do you ever like pick up the phone, call Marlo, call Kenya or whoever that you just had like an issue with on camera? Um, typically, see, they, they sometimes be mad at me about this, but I like to wait till they come on camera because I want it to be fresh. <laughs> I want it to be right off the dome. I don't even want you to have time to be thinking about what you're going to say or try to Ooh, you it. Are a but when they go to you camera, to I want to catch you right on camera and let you come with it. Yes. I do not yeah. like when people are prepared and be able to, because like sometimes if we do have a conversation on camera, their real reaction of how they really felt, they try to change it up for when it they don't take they try to play it down or soften the blow or whatever, whatever. That's I'm true. like, nah, 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 nah. You you had that energy with me on camera. Well, I'm gonna have that energy with you on camera. I'm not even gonna let that smoke exactly. die. You gonna catch that's all the smoke you gave me on camera. <laughs> <laughs> but they yeah, don't that's, that though. They that's how I feel. To say things publicly. And then try to fix it behind closed doors. So how do you deal with that? Oh, what I'm saying is that. that's why oh, I don't I'm even sorry. I don't even want you calling me off camera because see, that's <laughs> the thing that annoys me. It's like sometimes I notice, like over the years, I'm not just talking about like this year. I'm just saying over the years, people will say things on camera, be cutting you deep. 
But then they want to call you off camera to play it down or to be like, oh, it wasn't like that. So that when you come and talk to them about it on camera, you won't be so angry or your reaction won't You won't be light so their ass up. Yeah, you won't <laughs> light them up. So I don't want you calling me trying to fix nothing off camera. You going to catch it how you gave it. Yeah, and it's going to be a real reaction. That's how I am when I watch the show. I'm all about the kumbaya. So I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to kumbaya right there. Stay there like, no, wait a minute. What did you mean? Can you process that for me more? So I, I can't sleep. So I need to go to sleep at night. So if I leave and there's been a big, I'm, I can't go to sleep. <laughs> well, why don't, why don't you just call like Quad, Miss Quad or somebody else? Don't call that person because Dr. Jackie, I am ready to get a real reaction from you on TV. I swear, I think you <laughs> get to call the people on the phone. And then when you get there, you so calm because you already done worked it out. We I'm always like that, though. So quiet, would you vouch for me? I'm like, most certainly. This, this is truly who she is. I mean, let me tell you something. Dr. Jackie thinks about her reputation first in the process. <laughs> And on the end, baby, you're not going to shake her or break her, honey. Her reputation is everything. And she's worked very hard for that. So it's something to be commended that she can be on a reality show and let us all be the damn fools, honey, just ride the wave. No, Candy, <laughs> Candy. Huh? Candy, would you tell them in my office I'm like that, too? You, yeah, you, you, you are, are always so peaceful and everything is. is so zen. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. not I'm not going to talk about it, but you remember one day in my office and you were there and all these people came in my office. And I'm like, what is going? Remember? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I was yeah. still calm. I was like, okay, so hold on one second. Let me make a few phone calls. But you keep things, your energy is always positive. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm not like that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I, I'm not. And oh, I, we know. I, don't know. I, just, I wish that I could keep myself calm the way that you do. I don't know how you do it. Listen, speaking of your energy, Candy, last week you tapped on into Marlo's ass because <laughs> she was talking about Ralph um, not adopting Josiah. Yeah. And she was like, now hold on, wait a minute. How you got something to say? And you gave your nephews back. Now, I wanted to ask you, because uh, you are neutral, how do you feel about Ralph not adopting Josiah? Because, you know, he was going against... Um, Drew's wishes, but he did say he talked to Josiah's father and he didn't feel right with him uh, doing that. I mean, I feel like man to man, he did the right thing. However, that's well, not I thought he did the right thing too. Now, mind you, when we had our conversation that y'all saw on camera, I didn't know that Drew had told him she wanted him to adopt him. Like that was their conversation that they had between the two of them. So I was, I was not aware that that was what she had said to him. But I can only go by my own experience. You know, I my, you know, I had a stepfather who was very a great stepdad. You know, even after him and my mom separated, he still was up in my life, did stuff for me and all of that. But I remember when I was younger, he had asked me about did um did he did he want did I want him to adopt me or, or whatever so that I could have the same last name, I guess, as him and my mom. And I was just like I, even though me and my dad wasn't on the best of terms, I just felt like I didn't want to do that to him. Like, I didn't want to change my last name. I didn't want to, you know, even though I love my stepdad. So I understood when I was listening to their conversation, I understood it from that perspective, you know. And I'm just like, her of all people, dealing with what she was dealing with at that time, I didn't feel like she was the one that was qualified to be going in on him. So I was like, stop. <laughs> True. Now, I want Dr. Jackie and uh, Ms. Quad to go ahead and just weigh in on that. How do you feel about that situation? Do you think a stepfather should um, adopt their stepson if the mother wants them to? But they have, they have the dad. I think I would want the stepfather to be authentic. If he didn't really want to do it or he didn't feel it was right to do I don't think I would want him to do it because he needs to be a true father to that child. And so to adopt him because the mm -hmm. mother wants you to do it, eh, I don't know if I would want that. Mm -hmm. uh, in reference to me, a lot of things come into play. We got to look at what are the laws in that particular state. We got to look at the process. Does the, the, the mother need to sign over their parental rights? Does the father need to sign over their parental rights? So <clears throat> 
excuse me. It's just not, uh, hey, you want to you want the kid? Yeah, take the kid. It's not that. It's a little bit more uh, deeper um, in terms of how that works in reference to the judicial system, right? Um, if they could not decide on that, then I would probably just say you can still be a father, but you don't have to always. Say, Listen, I've, I've mothered a lot of children, and I don't have <laughs> all my income tax. I don't. I'm, I'm here as a help aid. And anything that I can do in reference to my family, as you can see that this season, then that's what I'm going to do. It's not all about, um, it's, it's about what needs to happen at that moment. You understand what I'm saying? So sometimes okay. if a parent is not ready to sign up those parental rights, but they need help, but maybe they, be, they may be on the right track, or it could be just a transition. Um, I think it, as a family member, you need to stand in the fold of that. And, and it's most about, important what's for the child. You know, what's his relationship with the child? <laughs> You know, what does the child want? Does he need that? Mm -hmm. to say, I want him to be my legal father. So it would depend on the child as well. Yeah. But then, I mean, that's the other question. It's like, how would, the, how would their son really know? Because he does have the same last name as them. They changed his name. You know, like really the physical part of the adoption is more like legal legalities and paperwork. So children don't really know about that part, do they? I don't necessarily think they do, Candy. You're right. I don't. I think um, kids only know what the parents tell them or how the parents talk around them, which I feel like we need to really govern ourselves when we're around young ears in reference to things like that, because we don't want to make the kid feel isolated. Hey, um, y'all, on a reality TV show, they, they'll know. I was going to say, the kids watching the show? Quiet. The children young. They can't be watching the show. The show really I mean, well. Riley was young, but Candy, when Riley got older, did she see some things and come to you and talk to you about that later? Well, she don't even really watch that much anymore. She just catches the clips. Like, she likes <laughs> to watch the clips on social media. She don't really watch the whole show. But yeah. there was a time when she was little. At first, I didn't let her watch it, but she came to me when she was like seven or eight and was like, you know, I think it's not fair that you don't let me watch the show because she was <laughs> like, my friends watch the show and they're able to come to school talking about it and I feel like I need to know what's going on so that I can be able to, you know, go back and forth or say whatever I want to say to my friends when they say something crazy. So at that point I was like, well you're right, let me get they watching it, you go ahead and watch it. Uh oh, uh -oh, uh -oh look at quiet face. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Quad, Miss Quad. Okay, Miss Quad, I got a question for you. So what's your, mom nephew, your mom and nephew lives with you now. How has mm -hmm. that adjustment been with um you know adding your mom and your your nephew in the house with you how is life now with them in the house i mean i'm very family oriented so you know it's it's nothing it nothing more warms my heart than to have my family with me and to know that i'm giving them a better quality of life and that um we're just enjoying each other there's nothing like family see people may come and go money may come and go a lot of things gonna come and go the only thing that is consistent is your family and so that's the, that's the thought process that I have with it. So I'm enjoying them being there. So would you let your nephew watch the show? No. <laughs> First of all, baby, Mason is in the bed at 830. I don't play no games, honey. Get down. <laughs> yeah, Even in the start. summer, he can't stay up to 10. Baby, 10? How old is he? The summer is a couple of months. We're talking <laughs> about the school season. No, we got to make sure he's always prepared. There is okay. structure. Children need structure. Okay. <laughs> Dr. Jackie, uh -huh. let's um go ahead and switch it up. So you planned this Vegas trip. They're wrong. Oh, with Jesus. Um, but you said something on Watch What Happens Live last week, and you said keep watching. You got to give us a little tease on what's going to happen tonight. What's going to happen, Dr. Jackie? What the people got going on in Mary to Medicine, honey? What y'all got going on? So the one thing I can say is a couple of things. I had to recruit the Golden Girls to pull this off. Because I, okay. I knew that. So I got with Simone and Heaven. But Kwai, you must admit, it's probably one of the most dynamic trips we've ever had in a lot of ways. We had a lot of ups. We had a lot of downs. We almost had a lot of outs. But <laughs> it was a good trip. I mean, it was an amazing trip. We had a lot of good time. You <laughs> were three of the things that you didn't know. You know, they took me places that I didn't know they had out there. Uh, Kendall, it was it was a lot. 
did, they, did, did, did the people take you places or did you just travel there because you wanted to be there, honey? Because the little piece of lingerie you picked up, I said, oh, I didn't know that was your style, honey. What's oh, okay. Girl. <laughs> Listen. You got some bedroom candy out there? Uh, but, and did. And did, yeah. honey. All yeah. type of oils I mean, and fragrances are, and we, candles, we, honey, and whips and things. I mean, girls gone wild weekend. You know, what stay, goes on in Vegas didn't stay in Vegas. You'll get to see it. But it was a lot. I got to add to that. I got to tell you, in all the years that I've been a part of the show since the conception, um, this was the first time that I truly, like, had real fun. Yeah. You know, a lot of times, and you guys can, you know, we, we're like, okay, we're going on a trip. And it's like, oh, they ask you this question. Are you excited to go on a trip? We're like, yeah. yeah. It's work for us, honestly. <laughs> This time, you know, you'd be like, yeah, child, I'm excited. You know, because you got to get a piece right. of something. But, child, you'd be like, oh, it's about to be a whole lot of shit, you know. But I got to tell you, this time, this was the best time ever that I have had on a trip, a part, being a part of Married to Medicine. I think everyone really just let their hair down. Baby, yeah. they must have took their wigs off. Some of them took their panties off. Like, it was a whole situation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Baby. It was a whole situation. I really think that the women just was like, screw the cameras. Yeah. Like, screw the cameras. We're here. I'm in a moment. And I love when the girls are in a moment. I actually had a great time even with some of those who I don't really rock with. See, yeah. now I'm excited to watch tonight because it was a lot of, you know, bickering going on at the beginning. And I was going to ask you, Dr. Jackie, tonight, did you think a lemon squeeze was going to be necessary? You Is still it a have on yellow. I need I need a whole lemon, what is orchard? I need a whole, but it was a wonderful trip. Yes, we had to, we need a lemon squeeze. We'll need it right on down to the reunion. <laughs> <laughs> but we had a wonderful trip, wonderful trip. We had a good time and we, we, we dealt with some hard stuff. You know, we couldn't go anywhere. You couldn't get in your car and go home. You right. know, take the next plane out so we had to sit there and deal with some real hard stuff and we had a good time what about some of those confessions that came out dr jackie Ooh, Jordan, what's the uh, confession baby they i think it was something in the drink i mean in that in that <laughs> restaurant there was something in that drink because people started talking and telling stuff and we we broke the fourth wall we kept saying girl the camera the <laughs> <laughs> I think it was, I think it was the drink in the private room and then the way the the, 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 the shrimp and the lobster Listen, was set up. The people I were love, telling the whole I said, ooh, baby, no, the people were talking love, about very close members of their families and everything. I was like, oh Lord Jesus. I love when people on when we take trips or when the girls finally like really let their hair down and forget that the cameras is there. <laughs> oh, okay. When you start That's when the funny see the real them come out. <laughs> let, me tell you this. let me tell you this. I've never had a lap dance. You, you never life. had a lap dance? No. Oh, Lord. And did you? I, let me ask you this, Dr. Jackie. Did you tip that woman? Did you tip her? <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby, I cannot wait. Oh, just asking. I'm asking for I the people in the back. Child. Lap dance. Wait, I wait, wait. Was, shout out. Hold on, y'all. Shout out to Brandy from P Valley. I see you in the comments, girl. What's up, talk about What's up, Brandy? Is that that's my girl. Y'all need to go on her page and see the dances she was showing from the, her last performance. Okay, yes. I see you, girl. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I've never. I, I was. I was. I didn't have words. You didn't have. Did you have the coin? Did you tip her? Quit talking. So drink your water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you live in a little, you know, because you just be so, you so Dr. Jackie. I'm just so glad you had a chance to really I didn't have a live. choice in this matter, okay? Well, well they said, you said y'all all had a chance to let y'all hair down, and I'm glad it was down. Because <laughs> um, speaking of trips, Candy, Jamaica, mm -hmm. tonight we'll see more of Jamaica. Is there anything that you regret doing on this trip? Or is there <laughs> something that you can tease so we can know? what to look for in about 25 minutes <laughs> anything that i regret i mean i don't really regret much <laughs> but um you know obviously i was shocked they allowed they showed y'all so much of me cussing and stuff on this because like I normally so i tried that's the one thing i can say 
for myself. I try not to curse as much on camera as I do <laughs> like a re- my mouth can be like a sailor on a regular, <laughs> like if I'm not on camera, but I try to clean it up on TV, but certain people have me so heated. So you heard us cussing last week, and on tonight you're going to hear me cussing a little bit more. <laughs> I'm so glad, and I can't wait to watch it, because you know, when you in that element, I say, now this candy right here. <laughs> this is candy right here. Yeah. Now, Candy, I, about that conversation, before I, I get back over to Miss Kwa, about that conversation that you and Marla was having, Todd stepped in because she basically brought him into the conversation. You know, she always want to call you a sugar mama. That's her favorite thing to do, her favorite so line. So annoying. <laughs> but Kwa was like, don't forget, I was on this show. I was producer, producer on this show before I was on this show. He was like, you bought your way into this group. Did she really? He explained, um, you you have to watch the reunion. Okay. They, he makes it very clear for everybody exactly what he meant. And you will find out at the reunion. I can't tell you now. Candy, oh, okay. Candy, do you ever get tired of people? Like, it's been years now. You know, I'm well aware of what Todd does. And mm-hmm. Todd has made some major moves in terms of building and help to, to build your empire even stronger. You guys' empire together. Do yes. you ever get tired of it? Do you ever get sick of, like, why are they saying my man don't do nothing? Why That's they so to do annoying. You ever get sick of it? It's so annoying to me when they try to disrespect him like that or try to make it seem like, oh, he just sits around and let me take care of him. So clearly, you guys, we've built an empire together since we've been together. When I met him, he was not broke. He had a great position in TV production. He had been, he first came, he was a a production manager when he first came on our show, but he's been a line producer for multiple shows after that. He's had his own productions where he produced other people's shows. He worked for a network before the end. So he's, he has had a long resume of his own. So I, it, and he had a condo in New Jersey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. He <laughs> worldwide. He was totally worldwide. renovated, by the way. He will show that later, too. <laughs> Do you feel that it was shady? Do you feel that it was shady that Bravo would, like, literally list both of you all's accolades and accomplishments and, 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 like, I, mean, I think they, you know, of course, now we already know that the editors, we called them the uh, fifth shade, what, what they said, they the extra shady housewife, the editors, they gone, <laughs> they shake the hell out of us, they are so shady with their editing, I mean, with their list, I guess they were trying to put up a list of our, you know, assets before coming into the marriage, he had a nice ass condo in Jersey, it ain't cheap, y'all, like, before he met me, <laughs> And yes, I mean, I got a long career, so, you know, I got other things of my own. But really, who was really uh, done with that list was my mama. She was like, why they put my damn house on your list? accumulated so much since being together together like we've got multiple restaurants as you've seen we got multiple commercial properties all kind of stuff together multiple so babies like, multiple yeah, babies, babies Good, which buddy. dr jackie you help us get there thank you you changed my life for the better you know it's just, i mean I, I don't really at this point I think I get more bothered by it than Todd does. Like, he'd be like, eh, whatever. I'd be so yeah, chill. I don't know what to be tripping. Now, Kwa, I want Miss Kwa. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. Make get sure into it. Miss Kwa. Miss Kwa, um, I want to talk about that intervention. Mm-hmm. I was dying laughing because when you said, do you have me know about this? And they said, oh, you was like, oh, y'all bitches shady. <laughs> I said, Kwa, it's me. She, me and her, we the same person because I would have been the same way. What is your thoughts on that intervention? Do you think that, of course you thought it was wrong, but do you think that Heavenly should have known about that before walking in because I think she played it cool. I would have told that bitch up. <laughs> no, no, she really didn't play it too cool and I knew that she was going to flee and she fled, um, but it was wrong. Like, if you're really trying to conduct an intervention, like, you don't go and deal with someone's adversaries or their enemies. Like, relationships are slightly evolving now. 
So some of those persons that was a part of that intervention, she's now a little bit more, she's warming up to them a little bit more. But honestly, you should have went and cat Jackie or myself, some people who really care about her, some people who are really her friends. You don't really go and get someone's enemy to say, oh, you know what? We're going to go ahead and we're going to stage this intervention. Meanwhile, you go put on a wig and you call yourself, oh, sometimes you got to come with the storm. Why are you going with the storm if it's an intervention? Mm -hmm. so these are, I'm just saying, I pay close attention to detail and I watch what people say. And I like Contessa too. She's my sore world will never fall out. That's one of my sisters. But yet and still, right is right and wrong is wrong. And has heavily said some foul shit? Absolutely. Will heavily be dealt with? Of course, by me, she will. Absolutely. But still in the same vein of being her friend, I don't think it should have happened that way. Now, Kawhi, heavily needs no defending, but she didn't flee. They put her out. She told no, her she got the hell on. She got no, the hell on. She told she her to get the, on. She told her to get out. Who who told her to get out? Contessa. Contessa? Yeah. Where, where was I when that was stated? Um, you must have been outside, but she said You was in there with Dr. Um Simone them and y'all was having that little uh-huh. Yeah, it was a whole where, but then that could have happened. Said she had a freedom of in this this is a free country. <laughs> Baby, she said, I can make, she said, baby, this is America. This America. is America. This, this is America. America. Okay. You know, but um, okay, so maybe Heavenly got put out. I'm not sure I wasn't present, but <laughs> I still would say I knew that that would be an uncomfortable environment. And I think that, and they knew it too. That's why they wanted us to put our phones up and all of this. And, That's you know, I just feel like you don't have a... You call it I, and, and I and I think I I think I coined that word ambush because that's what I feel like it is. But then and I asked Contessa later on. I said, "Do you want to do anything different?" And she says, "No, I did it the way I wanted to do." She said, "It's an ambush when she goes onto her YouTube. So this is my platform. So I'm going to return the favor. It is what it is." So Ooh. are they? Gonna, will we see this later? Are they going to fix things or at least they try? Ain't fix them, baby, we ain't got ain't a wrench. Ain't a, ain't, 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 a, ain't a screwdriver, ain't no drill, <laughs> baby. They ain't, listen, ain't no tube, ain't no tube belt, baby. It's just not. <laughs> that, that won't be fixing it. No, no. Okay, so you you ladies have a new, is she the new cast member or is she a friend to the show? How how do I say her name? Audra. Audra. Audra seems like she coming with some heat. So I is like Audra, Audra. Gonna shake things, is she coming to shake things up? Is she going to be the new heavenly? Dr. Heavenly? No, 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 no. There would never be another Heavenly. We don't want another one either. So that's a no. No, she is her own woman in her own right. Very smart, intelligent, beautiful yeah. girl. Um, very kind, very sweet. She just don't take no shit. And that's just no. what it is. Like, we like Audra. I, I hope to see Audra around for a long time. I mean, you get to see, you get to see the lawyer in Audra. You just hang around and watch how lawyer. Uh, well, the people said she was a bad attorney, honey. Now the people said that, Jay. The, the people, people assassinate her toys. job like they're a career. Oh, speaking Ooh. of the people, speaking of the people, I, I'm gonna come to you next. She gonna get you about that. Ready. But Dr. Jackie, and who gonna Ms. get me? Audra. <laughs> No, oh baby, I would never do nothing. Now I'm pulled up, baby. I would never ever assassinate someone's good job, and they worked hard and went through school, and then they had to pass the bar. Honey, that is foolish to say somebody is a horrible attorney. I do not put a step on that at all. That wasn't me. I don't do those things. <laughs> oh, okay, we'll just share okay. with the people. Say. We'll get to we'll get to <laughs> Audra litigate. Audra will litigate for us. You will see okay. her litigate. We gonna stay oh, tuned for that. And one more question for both of you. Um, so, Anila and Dr. Karen, when they pulled up with them outfits on, on Halloween at that park. What kind of outfits did they have on? You know they was the uh, two men in the truck. I said, now why two men in the truck crawling Toya and uh, Dr. Eugene outside? Did y'all think that they were just being just being funny, or did you think they were being malicious? We were walking in, and when I heard the, they were blowing the horn, just blowing the horn, just like ex I'm like, what is going on? And they started screaming out, Toya, Toya, and I'm like, going, I was dumbfounded, like, what is going on? <laughs> so we were walking in behind them. We got a, a whole view of what was going on. And when I read the names on the back on there and it says Saja Movers, I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> but, but, but my thing is this, where's the lie? 
You're not yeah. running this show. This is this is not you to ask questions. Oh, uh, no, no, no. This is our show. And then you know that, honey, I am the inquisitor. You understand? <laughs> Where's the lie about what? But, but, but the lady been moving since the conception of the show. They say the lady don't move about six, seven times. So the people say we need to about 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 move. Yes. Say, oh. <laughs> I can't with y'all. She is she building her dream home. Y'all got to stop. She's building her other dream home. Is that no, the dream home was built just a year and a half, maybe two years ago. She said she built another one, and then she said she'll build another one after this. She'll always. Well, honey, I'm just, I'm just happy about my little bullshit as a apartment child. You know, I live but, in bullshit, child. You know, that's how I operate. I about <laughs> Jackie, and it is what it is, honey. You can go over there. Yeah, I'll pull up, and I'm going to say how I am. That's what it is. I'm just okay. simply saying, the people didn't lie. The people have moved profusely. Listen, all of the fans stated they have put it on the television, down to the Bravo Network. They have put it all out there. So you can't really get mad if the people say, today we're going to dress up as movers, honey. And let me tell you something. <laughs> if you if you made what you made on it, I'm just saying I would have see how I would have handled that. I would have said yes. Um, Anila, go ahead and get that desk. Okay, get Kieran, you get that. Oh, those are my Fabergé eggs. Okay, wait a minute, they're very delicate. See, I would have ran them hot. Why get upset? <laughs> if it ain't true, why are you mad? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Run, yeah, run, them, think, baby, think, run them high as fun folding. That's what I'm right. saying. I think we all want bigger homes, maybe. You oh, know? I'm good with my home. I'm okay with mine. I'm just gonna stay where I'm at. I'm okay. <laughs> that house was huge. What? Blessings. I mean, it's only four of them. Okay. Blessings. Um, <laughs> it's only four of them. What? How big? That, that the come over here. The, listen, the woman had orchid. The woman had literally sat down with the architect and came up with the pool, and then turned around and said the pool was too small. Listen, I, it's not my pool. So if the pool is too small for her, then the pool is too small for her. But I'm just simply saying, where is the lie? And then you get upset, but you jumped into Anila's when they said it's a joke or whatever. You say you don't be in women's business or all of that, but you jump into Anila's DM and you say, oh, watch out for Quad and Heblin. Watch out for what? The best that ever came? Oh. That's what you're watching now? Come on, spill the, spill the Oh, okay. This watch is, out for the best that ever came then. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is a great live. I'm loving it. I thought she bringing all the smoke on this live. Wait, line. wait, but listen. <laughs> Ready for it all. Flaming hot. Flaming hot. What's up with it? I, wait, I got a couple more questions because we can go. But it's almost 8 o'clock. Yeah, baby, because people got to get down to the Bravo. <laughs> yeah, I got to get on down. I got to get on down to the bed and the TV so I can do them housewives. So I got to. <laughs> Child, you need to have almost... TV already set. <laughs> it's, oh, it's, oh, believe me. And the Hennessy. Is in there waiting, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but listen, Candy, um, speaking of Marlo, you know, she always call you sugar mama. One thing about you, you will turn a negative into a positive. Do we got a sugar mama song coming out? Do we got a sugar mama I, show coming out? <laughs> I mean, I no, I'm not giving no energy on that sugar mama mess. I didn't even think about that one. But you got okay. that just, worldwide. You just gave her a new idea. Hit my bio phone okay, right now. Okay. This is what I wanted to talk to you about. Remember when you came on Social Society and I, you was like, we could talk about something else. You was like, no, you can't come work at OLG and help me out, but we could talk about something else. I say we open up a dessert shop and call it Sugar Mama. Bam. Call me, call me later. Call me later. I like the idea. But let me just say this. Can I get a little side note? The new song. Y'all better stop playing. Oh, Baby, if you, get, you. if you get my cheating. If you get caught cheating. Thank you. Thank you, Squad. Girl, let me tell you something. I said run it back five times. It was so good. <laughs> I was feeling that I was feeling it. Thank you. You know, it was um Tiny and I, we decided to like do the answer to um division song or whatever. We made our own. It's called If You Got Get If You Get Caught Cheating or whatever. We put a SoundCloud up with the song and then we also got the YouTube video. So y'all run that up, y'all. And tell your radio station to play if you get caught from Candy and Tiny. So, you know, so we can have our women's anthem because we did it for the ladies, because I got tired of hearing that male toxicity. It was it was <laughs> Yeah, oh, because in the song it says if don't let this one Bomb, bomb, bomb him having sex with her, for lack of a better word, mess up what we got. Now, how's she messing that up? You chose to do that. Okay. What? What okay. That? 
Oh, well. okay. No, what I was okay. saying, when I heard it, I had called your man. I was like, hey, can we get that instrumental? Because we cannot let this go down. <laughs> We're not doing Karen, it. Baby, you was really funny. Karen, did you write your did you write the verse? Do you and Tanya yes. wrote your verses? You yes. know she did. Yes, of course you did. saw that face, she said, Yeah. Baby, well, you know, I mean, much, that's what Tanya did. Like I, this. Do. I saw you do this. Oh because I'm not playing like you you get caught cheating on me, it's gonna be problems. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna do you dirty. <laughs> no, but I mean Tiny and I, that's a lot of people forget that, you know, we are singer songwriters and that's our background. You know, you see us so much on, you know, reality TV and stuff. So people forget, you know, we can pull out that right there hot 16 on you real quick. <laughs> yeah. Andy. All right. Okay. okay. So I got to get out of here. So before we go, one more, I'm going to open it up to everybody. What are you most excited for the viewers to see? for the rest <laughs> of the season on both shows. Uh, Dr. Jackie, I'm gonna let you start, and then Miss Kwa, and then uh, Candy, you finished. Okay. I want the viewers to see how, how it ends. That, I just, I mean, I don't know how to say it without saying it. I just want them to watch, keep watching. Watch it all the way to the end, because you'll see how it all comes together or falls apart. Ooh. Okay. All right, and following up with that, I got to tell you, I, the most the most exciting thing that I am interested in the viewers seeing is something we've not even filmed yet, baby. And it's called a little something called a reunion. <laughs> <laughs> we just did ours, girl. I heard, girl, you know. I, heard. I can't wait. We just did ours. I'm yes. gonna call you. I'm gonna call you. <laughs> um. Well, I would have to say, our for the rest of our season, every episode from here on out is fire. It's so much more they got to look forward to from whether the rest of this Jamaica trip, okay? Then uh -huh. you got the stuff going on with Tyrone. We finally going to meet his ass. Then we finally get to see whether or not She by Sheree is going to happen or not. You get to see where, where that goes. Um, see where my joggers at. You know, oh, we did a little... Well, we didn't do it, but it's a little situation for the birthdays for Kenya and, and Marlo, because you do realize their birthdays right by each other, right? Mm -hmm. They both Aquarius, and they can't stand each other. So imagine us trying to bring them and they people together. It was, oh, it was, it was, it's, it's, it's going to be every episode here on out is definitely going to be the people going to be going up for. Can, yeah. can, can, can I insert a question that has, uh, you know, it's, we've seen it in the blogs and all of that. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and um address this. Uh -oh. the candy. Oh, candy. What? What you think about what you think about our good friend Sheree? Dating Please Martell. don't ask me about Sheree. <laughs> I just I just did. Well, I think she has a great brand with she by Sheree, and it is coming soon. <laughs> That's what I think. Martell is gonna I, be. I didn't say nothing about season. she by Sheree, girl. I said so about her and Montel Holt. I don't even want to talk about that, man. You know, I already said what I had to say about that. And, you know, I just hope that it is genuine, you know, and I guess only time will tell, right? So you, so we can expect to see him on the next season. That's what you say. So I, I don't know where you're going to see him. Why? I don't know his schedule, okay? I don't know. I'm not so getting into where you're going to see him or not. So <laughs> I got to go. Are we gonna yes, meet your, Are we gonna meet your guy? Oh, baby! Oh, yeah, baby, did you hook me up with someone? Oh. I mean, you doing all these questions over here? Yeah, what's up, boy? Because that was my new question for The people want to know. I'm sure y'all do. Y'all don't start lying on me, so I'm sure you want to know, honey. When that when, when when the hate don't work, you start lying. Okay, okay. Let's you're deflecting so, right now. You're deflecting. Are we gonna meet him? I answered the question straight like that. I'm not deflecting. Never will I. Oh, so well, Miss Kwa, yes before no? we go, well, before we go, Miss Kwa, will you ever um, date medicine again? You know what? I don't know, child. I just might, honey. I just might. Oh, That's okay, a good question. Pay attention because she she telling us something. No, yeah. the big this is what I'm saying. I want to date a man that gets me, who understands me, who we can grow together, bond together. Um, who is a man who is a loyal person who loves God and is for the community. 
That's what Question, I like. Do you ever like hear it. from your ex? Which one? Your ex husband. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Actually, I think a couple of months ago, Candy, that was something I needed to do. I took care of that. And, you know, he and I spoke briefly in that period of time that that needed to be taken care of. And mm -hmm. that was about the size of, of it. Yeah. Maybe we can stage a reunion. Okay. Do what? <laughs> what she said? Stage, you want stage, stage a major reunion. Maybe we can just, y'all can just be friends. Reunite it oh. and it feels so good. No, 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 uh, 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 stop. Can't do it. Don't do that. <laughs> Let me tell you right. something. No, honestly, no disrespect. The man may be dating someone now. It's, it's completely fine. We're okay. I wish him, uh, love, wealth, and health. It is done. We just want to meet that man you were describing right there. What, I mean, what, hooked me up, what hooked me up with him? Wait, Dr. Jackie is telling some things, and I am here for it. Okay? Jackie ain't telling y'all <laughs> shit. <laughs> Quad, I can't wait to come over so we can make them cocktails and you come cook. On, so honey, come on, you know what the house said? Come on, child. <laughs> All right. So okay, I'm wait, funny. hold on. Everybody <laughs> smile one time for two, three seconds. Okay. We got it. No, that's what I'm saying that because when you save this live, you need to have a still shot of all of us so it can be the cover of it. Come on, Candy, you better produce. Because I have people, you know, you know, you be trying to find a picture from the frame. So if we all like smile in the three frame. seconds, he got a good one, he can show it. It can be the cover. Okay, y'all, I got like three minutes so I can get to the TV. Everybody, thank you so much for joining us tonight on this live. This was so much fun. I wish we could keep going. The Real Housewives of Atlanta come on tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time. That is in three minutes. And following behind The Real Housewives of Atlanta is everybody's other favorite Atlanta show, Married to Medicine. We will see Miss Quad and Dr. Jackie and all the other lovely ladies on it's there. It's the ATL the lovely, takeover, the baby. The ATL takeover. Tune in like It's now. the ATL takeover. <laughs> we in this thing. All right, y'all. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. I got to go get my um, drink ready. And Candy, you can catch me in about at about 10 o'clock on my page. <laughs> all right, <laughs> okay. See y'all later. Bye. Bye, y'all. Have a good one.